Now, let's answer questions from random post. Meron dito galing kay Sir Fermin Tolio at kay Sir Ronnie Del Rosario galing sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All na FB Group at galing kay Lorne Santos Cardi Cardinas sa Civil Service Exam 2021 Community na FB Group na lagi nating tinatambayan. At ito ay comment sa ating YouTube galing kay Miguel Angelo Mortijo Moto. So, sagutan natin sa video ito, itong mga age problems na pinopost nila. Pero itong pang last natin, pang lima, ay sa next na video na lang kasi mahaba ang explanation natin dito. Number one. Hindi naman number one. Yung kanino ba to na post galing kay Sir Fermin. Basahin natin. Brandon is twice as old as Norman. Ten years from now, the sum of their ages will be 50. How old are they? Itong mga ganito, kailangan natin ng algebraic way of solving this para mas ma-represent natin yung isang yung mga ages nila. Then, isa sa pinaka nakakatulong para ma-solve ito, which is ilalagay ko yung link sa description ng video ito. Tapos, i-flash ko rin yung na-flash sa screen, kaka-upload ko lang kasi nito. Ito ay napaka-importante, yung basic ba, kung paano uh, mag-solve nito or paano i-identify yung value kung paano hanapin pala yung value ni X or ni Y kasi yan yung gagawin natin sa mga age problems ang pinakamabisang pag-solve nito ay gagawa tayo ng table table method, tawagin natin itong table method kasi ito ay para mas ma-picture out natin Brandon so si Brandon at si, yung isa ay si Norman. Gawa tayo ng table. Brandon is twice as old as Norman. So, let N be the edad of Norman. This is now. Bakit ka mo alam natin now yan? Is ang gamit dyan. So, Brandon is twice as old as Norman. Let N be the edad of Norman. So, si Brandon daw ay ay twice sa edad ni Norman. Ten years from now, and that is plus ten. The sum of their ages. So, ten years from now, itong edad ni Brandon, 2n plus ten. Edad ni Norman, ten years from now, n plus ten. Kung itotal daw yan, ang sum ay 50. So, ngayon, gagawa na tayong equation. Kapag sinabing sum, mag-add tayo. 2n plus n, and that is equals to 3n. 10 plus 10, and that is equals to 20. And that is all equals to 50. Now, i-keep natin si 3n dito kasi ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. Yung mga like terms. Since si 20 pang add dyan, pang minus na siya sa 50 kapag i-transfer natin yan. Kasi nga, mag-minus tayo ng 20 to both sides para ma-cancel out si 20 dito at ang natitira na lang ay 3n. So now, 3n is equals to 50 minus 20. By the way, itong na-post ko dati na finding the value of x, may nag-comment doon na ang gulo daw. Maguguluhan talaga kayo lalong-lalo na dito sa age problem. Kapag yung simpleng pag-transfer or kung paano i-transfer yung mga numbers, paano ipagsama yung mga like terms, yung basic dyan, ay kinalimutan nyo na, so maguguluhan talaga kayo. Kaya before nyo... Panuorin ito, mas magandang i-review nyo muna kung paano mag-transfer yung basic addition and subtraction na nandyan yung mga variables. Otherwise, wag nyong pangunahan ng takot kasi napaka-simpling math problem lang ito. Next, itong si N, i-isolate natin dyan. 
Pero bago yan, isolve muna natin. Si 50 minus 20, and that is equals to 30. Now, itong si 3, since pang multiply sa n, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 30. Now, n is equals to 30 divided by 3, and that is equals to 10. So, ang edad ni Norman ay 10 years old. Ngayon ang tanong. How old are they? Yung edad nila ngayon. So, si Norman, ang n ay equals to 10. Now, 2 twice of n, that means this is 20. So, ang sagot dito ay 20 years old. Si Brandon, 10 years old naman itong si Norman. Next, the sum of the ages of Benji and Dory is 25. Isulat muna natin si Benji at saka si Dory. Yung now nila, kung i-add daw yung edad nila, that is equals to 25. Five years ago, Benji was, so five years ago, that means minus five. Five years ago, minus five. Benji was four times as old as Dory. So therefore, let D, ganun ang gagawin natin, let D be the edad of Dory. Tapos si Benji daw was, kasi five years ago yan siya, four times as old as Dory. Ibig sabihin, four times D. Ang tanong, how old are they now? Yung edad nila now, kung itotal natin, ay 25. Since itong 4D ay 5 years ago, so 4D plus 5, yan yung edad now ni Benji. Ito namang si Dory, D plus 5, yan yung edad ni Dory. At ngayon, gagawa na tayo ng equation. 4D plus D, kasi i-add nga natin yan, and that is equals to 5D. 5 plus 5, parihong positive din yan, and that is equals to 10. Equals, ang total daw ay 25. So, yan na yung equation sa problem na ito. Ang identify natin yung value ni D. Now, ipagsama ulit natin ang mga like terms. I-keep natin si 25. Since si 10 pang add sa 5D, pang minus na siya sa 25. Now, i-isolate natin si D. Si 5, mamaya na yan. 25 minus 10 and that is 15. Then, si 5 ay since pang multiply siya sa D, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 15 kung matransfer natin. Now, D is equals to 15 divided by 5, and that is equals to 3. How old are they now? Ang D ay equals to 3. Now, so doon tayo mag-focus sa now. So, kung ang D ay equals to 3 plus 5, and that is equals to 8. Ang 3 times 4, 12, plus 5, and that is equals to 17. So, therefore, si Benji now ay 17 years old. Si Dory naman ay 8 years old. 5 years ago, itong si Benji ay minus 5, 12 years old. 5 years ago, si Dory ay 3 years old. Ang 3, kung i-multiply mo ng 4, that is equals to 12. Therefore, Tama na ang edad ni Benji ay 17 years old at ang edad ni Dory now ay 8 years old. Napakahaba naman ng solution, ma'am. Maubos na yung oras namin sa actual na exam. Ito ay tutorial video. Pinapakita ko sa inyo yung pinakadetalye para malaman nyo kung paano yung kung bakit ganun. Now, Kung gusto nyo ng shortcut, ganito lang din ang gagawin nyo. Kaso lang, mas maganda pa rin itong 
table method para mas ma-picture out nyo. Pero kung sanay na kayo, ganito lang naman yung pang-shortcut nyo. So, after mo mabasa sum, so dapat meron ka ng sum na 25. Kasi yan yung nakalagay at is yan, now yan siya. Kaso lang meron kang 5 years ago. So, kung 5 years ago, minus 5, kaso lang i-add mo para sa present. 4 times as old as Dory, that is 5 years ago. So, isulat mo na itong si Dory na yan ay mayroon tayong plus 5. So, automatic, dalawa yan, plus 10, kasi dalawa sila. 4 times, so ibig sabihin, yung 4 plus yung isang Dory, automatic, 5D yun siya. So, ngayon, kung praktisado kayo, pwede namang idirekta na natin yan siya. Ten my, itong 25 minus 10, and that is equals to 15, i-divide mo sa 5. So, si Dory, 5 years ago, ang edad niya ay 3 years old. Ngayon ang tanong kasi, now. So, kung now, addan mo lang ng 5 itong 3, and that is equals to 8. Tapos, huwag kalimutan ang itong si Benji naman ay 5 years ago, si Benji was 4 times as old as wa was yan siya. Si Dory, so 3 times 4 muna, that is 12, plus 5, that is equals to 17. Kaya ganun lang siya kadali. Actually, kung praktisado lang kayo, masosolve ito, pinaka matagal na siguro yung 10 seconds. Next. Mariz is 25 years younger than Rico. In 2 years, Rico will be twice as old as Mariz. 5 years ago, the sum of their ages was 61. How old are they now? Pwede itong dalawang solusyon ito. Kasi pwede namang ito lang or ito lang unang sentence ang i Partner dati, natin dito sa 5 years ago, the sum of their ages was 61. Now, isulat muna natin si Mariz. Gawa ulit tayo ng table method para ma-visualize nyo lang. At si Rico. Mariz is 25 years younger than Rico. So, yan ay now natin. So, let R be the edad of Rico kasi minusan natin yan ng 25 para sa edad ni Maris now. Then, in 2 years, so plus 2, Rico will be twice as old as Maris. So, si Rico daw will be twice as old as Maris. Yung edad ni Maris. In 2 years, yung edad ni Maris will be R minus 20. Three. Bakit ma'am? Kung si Maris now ay R minus 25 plus 2 years, imbis na minus 25, minus 23 na siya. Kasi ganun yan siya. R 25, yan yung edad ni Maris. After 2 years, hindi pa natin alam yung pinaka edad niya. So after 2 years, ito ipagsama natin yung mga like terms and that is Minus 23. Kaya after 2 year, two years, that is R minus 23. Yan yung edad ni Maris. So in 2 years, Rico will be twice as old as Maris. So ang twice dito ay kay R minus 23. Yan yung edad ni Maris in 2 years. Then, 5 years ago, so meron tayong minus 5. The sum of their ages is... 61. So, kung i-add, uh, i-add daw natin yan, kasi sum yan siya, that is equals to 61. Now, dito, dalawa ang pwede natin gawin. 5 years ago. So, kung 5 years ago, itong edad ni Maris will be R minus 30. Bakit minus 30? Ulitin natin, R minus 25 minus 5 and that is R minus 30. Okay. Then, dalawa ang mangyayari dito. Kasi pwede namang itong R na lang. So, R minus 5 or ang gagawin natin ay or. Itong 2 R minus 23 Minus 7. Ngayon, para hindi kayo maguluhan, isang solusyon na lang ipakita natin sa inyo. 
Total, pariho lang din naman yung sagot. Yung sagot lang naman ang hanapin natin. So, five years ago, kung i-add daw natin yung edad nila ay 61 years old. Remember, five years ago, ito yung now ni Maris. So, five years ago, magiging minus 30. Kasi nga, five years ago pa. Mayroon ka ng minus 25, five years ago, mayroon pang isang minus 5. So, magiging minus 30 na. Ito namang si Rico, yung edad ni Rico ni, now ay R. So, 5 years ago, so mag-minus tayo ng 5 kay Rico. R. Let R be the edad of Rico. Ngayon, ang ating equation, i-add natin dalawang R. So, that is 2R. I-add din natin itong negative 30 at negative 5 and that is equals to negative 35. Ang sum daw nito ay 61. Ipagsama ang mga like, mga like terms. 61 plus 35. Bakit ka mo kasi? Minus 35 kapag matransfer magiging plus 35. Now, si R i-isolate. 61 plus 35 and that is equals to 96. Itong si 2 since pang multiply sa R, pang divide ngayon sa 96. R is equals to 96 divided by 2 and that is equals to 48. Idad ni Riku now, 48. How old are they now? So si Riku ay 48. 48 minus 25, yan yung idad ni Maris. So, that is 23. So, si Marisa ay 23. Ito namang si Rico ay 48 years old. I-double check natin. 23 minus 5 and that is equals to 18. 48 minus 5 and that is equals to 43. Kung i-add daw natin yung edad nila 5 years Five years ago, the sum of their ages is 61. 18 plus 43, and that is equals to 61. Therefore, ang sagot na 23 years old si Maris at 48 years old si Rico now ay tama. Next. Six years ago, David's mother was 13 times as old as David. So, isulat muna natin si mother at saka si David. Six years ago, so minus six, David's mother was 13 times as old as David. So let D be the edad of David. David's mother was three, 13 times, so 13 times down, as old as David. Now, she is only four times as old as David. So, now, to yung now natin. So, kung six years ago, let D be the edad of David. Six years ago, ibig sabihin, yung edad ni David now ay D plus six. Now, she is only four times as old as David. So, four times... Dito sa D plus 6. Yan yung edad ni mother now. Ang tanong, how old is David now? So, magbalanse tayo. Itong edad ni mother, 13 times kay David, that was 6 years ago. So, gawin natin now, plus 6. Kasi 6 years ago yan. Then, Yang idad na yan ay equal sa idad niya now, which is 4 times d plus 6. Yan na yung equation sa problem na ito. I I multiply muna natin ito. 4d, then this is 4 times 6 is equals to 24. So, i-rewrite lang natin. Ngayon, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. So, we keep natin si 13d dito. This is d. 4D, since pang-add siya dyan or positive number siya dyan, kung i-transfer natin maging minus 4D. Then sa so 24, i-keep lang natin. Since 6, pang-add dyan, 
kapag matransfer, minus 6 yan siya. So, 24 minus 6, and that is equals to 18. 13 my, 13 D minus 4 D, and that is equals to 9 D. Then, itong D, i-isolate natin yan. Since si 9 pang multiply sa D, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 18. So, D is equals to 18 divided by 9, and that is equals to 2. So, Six years ago, ang edad ni David ay 2. Ito namang si mother ay 13 times dito sa 2. So, 13 times 2 and that is equals to 26. How old is David now? Ito si David. So, D is equals to 2 plus 6 and that is equals to 8. So, ang sagot dito ay 8 years old si David now, ngayon ito yung abangan nyo sa next na video kasi meron itong dalawang sagot. Depende na lang kung anong meron sa choices nito. Basahin muna natin. Elsa is as old as Megan will be in 5 years. The difference between Ed's age and Megan's age is twice the difference between Elsa's age and Megan's age. Ed is 29. How old is Elsa? Abangan sa next na video. Thank you for watching and God bless.